Jamie O'Brien. I'm from the North Shore of Oahu. My name is Damien Robertson, and I'm from the Big Island of Hawaii. My full name is Sean Patrick McInerney. I was born in Riverside, California. The nickname is Poopies. All right, let me explain who is J-O-B. We just had to got done filming Jamie's movie, Who is J-O-B. After the movie, Red Bull's like, hey, we want to do a web series on YouTube. I was like, let's show him the real side of things where he doesn't hang out with the biggest name pro surfer. Freaking watching the way he's calm, I just was like, ooh, 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 just started filming stuff from, from there on out. Just run and jump. He makes his friends get into uncomfortable positions, but has fun while doing it. <laughs> so we did Who is JLB 2.0, and you know what? It was like the beginning to the craziest time in my life. That first year of filming Who is JLB was, was savage, honestly. The first season of Who is JLB was very interesting because I went to kick out nine people that were living downstairs in my house that I had no idea about. My buddy's like, so, hey, I'm so sorry, James, but there's just my one buddy, Poopies. Can we keep him around? I'm like, Poopies? Jamie's like, what are you guys doing? Like, there's only supposed to be like one person living in this room. So he, had, he kicked a bunch of us out, but he said I could stay. I was like a dream come true. We ended up hanging out with Poopies later that night, and I asked him to do something, and he did it. And then I asked him to do something else, and he did it. I'm like, well, I really like this guy. In the beginning, Jamie was a little bit more shy and more used to just filming his surfing. And now he's just full bore, this is me, who is J.O.B. So I made a homemade blow dart gun out of a straw. <laughs> it's always been really challenging coming up with great ideas for the show. But at the same time, it's like, I ask Poopies, he says no. I ask Jake, he says yes. I look at Damien and he just starts laughing. Like, I can't wait to film this. Yeah, Kelly. Slate, Slaters. The idea process is Jamie blurts it out. I take it and spin it in my head if it's gonna look good, and I kind of just hype them up to get it done and be right there and make sure that Poops is gonna do it. See? My best work. I'm your stunt coordinator. So the ideas come, so a lot, the... oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I'm talking too fast. I know what I want to say, but. We're doing them not Huey. Chlorine. That's fing bleach, dude. Stop. That's the teddy bear you just touched. Dude, I'm on. over your GoPro, dude. So a lot of the ideas come from Jamie. He's really good at making them up. And yeah, I, he comes up with them I'm like, okay. And sometimes it's like, no way. And he's like, have I ever got you hurt? I'm like, no. You got a little wider stance, I think. Wider stance and just. You gotta bomb it. Don't bail out. Oh, you Yes! <laughs> so my favorite moment filming for Who is J.O.B. was definitely Red Bull Fire. It was an idea that I threw out there to the fans on Instagram. They came back with fire. I put fire and chopo together, and then I presented the idea to Red Bull, and Red Bull said, do you really want to light yourself on fire? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, let's make this clear. You want to light yourself on fire? I said, yeah. And they go, all right, we got the perfect guy to do this. Shall we go to my place? I didn't realize it was going to be such a big deal. And next thing you know, like, there's one of the biggest swells coming in five years to Tahiti, and they're like, they're psyched out of their mind. And this is when I get scared. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. The buildup, the, the anticipation before that trip, the, the butterflies, I was freaking out. I was like, man, this is, this is how O'Brien's gonna go, I guess. first person ever to be lit on fire inside a massive barrel 
at Chopo, spit the flame out and made it. I was so psyched. I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, definitely one of the best moments of my entire life. Oh my God, I made it. That's the best, craziest adrenaline rush of my life. My most favorite thing was probably shaving Scotty and Vibe's eyebrow. <laughs> I want a clean, nice shave. I'm a good sport. You better lather that up real quick. <laughs> Maybe leave her boxing. So just right, keep I'll, that I'll go. I'll go soft. That's. <laughs> just like this. Okay. Time. <laughs> better not make him bleed. I look better than you without an eyebrow. Than you look <laughs> Get that really clean off. I don't care, you guys. He was so bummed, and the waves were so good. That was probably my favorite moment. Awkward dinner. The funniest moment was when we were with Poopies and we shaved his eyebrows for 80 bucks. Your friends passed out, you gotta take care of them. Here, one more moment here, Poopies. We're just cleaning up real nice. <laughs> the ultimate unibrow. <laughs> what up, it's Jamie. Here's our Poopies at 2013 Coachella. 80 bucks worth it right here. That started a yearly tradition of Poopy's getting his eyebrows shaved, and every year he would come back to Hawaii, being like, not this year, and somehow I would buy it from him. Oh. <laughs> I would say going to Jaws and riding soft tops with Poopy's first time out of Jaws was absolutely amazing. 30 to 40 feet later tonight into Sunday. Sounds perfect. 30 afternoon. to 40 feet. Sir, yeah, I'm definitely drowning. From him not wanting to get on the plane, from Poopy's not wanting to take off his shoes, to me and Kalani Chapman paddling out and catching 20 footers on soft tops. We basically broke every boundary in the world on the soft tops that day. Who goes to Jaws and brings nine foot soft tops? Nobody does that. No one's done it since. And it was, a, it was just something that just needed to happen. And it was amazing. I caught a 20 foot wave on my soft top and then I was like, oh my God, I thought I was gonna die again, you know? And like, popped up, board was perfect. Next wave, board in 20 pieces. Never saw my GoPro ever again. It was just like, it was devastating, but it was an amazing trip. So my heaviest wipeout was probably the first season. And Jamie steps me off at pipe. No one's out, it's like 12 foot pipe. And it was my first step off I've ever done in my life. And all of a sudden, it, I hit a bump, and then I, I go over the falls, and my head comes out of the lip, and I come back in, and I just get so slammed. It was crazy. I didn't hit the reef. I just popped up, and I was all right. But that was probably the heaviest wipeout. I love the slip and slide triple crown. No one else in the world could have pulled it off besides Jamie. To do Hollywood Bridge at night was crazy. You know, I tried to do a backflip. That was my first backflip. <laughs> Getting Beaver Creek about 10 to 15 feet deep, which is unheard of. Hasn't happened since. Got the jump set up in the Beaver Creek. Perfect, perfect day. We're gonna kill it on the ramp. The greatest thing about filming all these episodes with Red Bull is like, I really like feel like they gave me wings of the world to like go fly around with all my best friends. Give me that opportunity to create these awesome memories. You could definitely say that Red Bull gave us wings to make these videos. It's been an amazing ride, so thank you. Did Red Bull give me wings? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it gave, me, it gave me giant wings, man. Like, I started filming this at 17, and you know, it threw me right into the industry. Not only that, but it gave me all the experience I need to travel and film and hang out with this crazy crew, you know, and, and get the experience I need to spread my wings and get ready for new adventures, like I said. Red Bull, you have gave me so many wings. I got like 10 pairs of wings on me right now. No, they've done so much for us. Like, we travel the world with our best friends and have the best times and go to the best waves and eat the best food. I mean, Red Bull's done everything that, that's why I'm sitting here right now talking to you guys. I 
really want to say a big thank you to everybody at Red Bull, from Charlie to Scotty to Beth to Josh Kendrick to the Poor Boys Production to Greg Browning. I mean, these videos could never have been possible without these radical humans. The whole Red Bull family, everybody behind this, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I had the time of my life filming and making these videos, and you know, I'm sorry it has to end. Cookies, your heel hot? Go down to the bridge and get the surfy lesson, so here we go. You're so sick, bro. Is Ezra coming? What are you doing, bro? Who said Poop's gonna make it to Mexico? Yeah, made it! Yeah. When the wave breaks here, don't be there. I don't even think it's gonna be that crazy. Look so happy brushing your teeth. Look at him.